Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This week is gonna be crazy heavy with all the budgeting content on my channel. I apologize, maybe I don't apologize. I know a lot of you like this stuff. So the reason that I'm doing another budget is because I am currently enrolled in FPU. Every Friday I have a Financial Friday video which will be up on Friday. You're actually gonna see this before that video. But today is currently Monday evening. It's pitch black outside so I apologize for the weird shadowing that's going on on my paper. I'm gonna move this over here once we start going. However, a couple of you had a really good idea on my plan with me video. I've seen a few comments asking if I will do my Dave Ramsey budget on camera. So I figured, hey, let's do it. So today is going to be a Dave Ramsey budget day. As you can see, I already did my February budget. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload this video first on Wednesday and then I will upload this one on Thursday, I think. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with this video. It's gonna happen this week though. So, as you can see, this video is already done. However, I will link in the comments down below, or not the comments, but the description box down below. I will link this video to my February budget if you guys are interested in watching it. I like my stuff to be pretty, as you can see. Uh, this form does nothing for me, but I have to do it for my class. So I figured I would show you how I'm going to do it. I will have this guy off camera, because I've already done my budget, I'm just working off of that. So. These are the Dave Ramsey cash flow, monthly cash flow plan. Um, I actually downloaded them online as a part of my FPU. I am not sure if you can get these online. I'm sure that you can somewhere. I just don't know exactly where. I know in the back of, I want to say it's the Total Money Makeover they have these as well, but I'm sure there's some like downloadable PDF or something you can find online. I'm just, I'm really not sure. Anyway, um, so yeah, so let's do the cash flow plan. This first form, there's three total like forms of the cash flow plan. I cannot say that. What's wrong with me today? Um, I've been working all day and it's just like been crazy busy at work by the way. So my mind is a little bit cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs at the moment. So step one, enter the monthly take home pay in this box. So box A is going to be $2,630.16. Oh, I guess this is just showing me how to do it. Okay, well, way to go, Emily. All right, <laughs> anyway, so let's go into the cash flow plan. So, okay, up here is where I put my take home. So. Here's where I put $2,630.16. All right, so my charity, um, I'm obviously only gonna be doing budgeted because spent, I haven't spent anything yet in the month of February since it's not February yet. So let's put in the 200 I was allocating and then the total of 200 and then emergency fund retirement fund and college fund i'm going to change that my emergency fund is fully funded i'm going to be saying that that is a house fund and that budgeted is one thousand five hundred forty dollars and nineteen cents if you are new to my channel, I should probably have said this to begin with, but we're a few minutes in. I am currently in FPU, as you can tell by the description of the title, as well as what I said before. So um, I am currently on baby step 3B, which means that I am saving for a home. A little bit of interesting life happened in the last six months, so now I am currently living in my parents' summer home. I have very, very minimal bills, so this may not look like the budget that you would do for your family. However, I love to share. I don't give any financial advice or anything like that. But if you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I'll get back to as many of you as I can. However, my housing expenses are extremely minimal and I do understand that my parents have very graciously let me stay in their home while I build up my down payment and I am currently starting to look for a home in the near future. So I'm very, very excited about that. So. That being said, this whole situation over here, all the housing, I don't have anything. So that is going to be 
zero dollars and zero cents. All of the utilities are pretty minimal. I do pay for my phone and my internet. So my phone is around $90 per month and then my internet is $45.29. So that's a grand total of $135.29. Okay, so as for groceries, I use this in my cash envelope system. Um, so my grocery budget is $200 a month. Um, it's just me, so that's fine. And then as for restaurants, um, for dining out, I budgeted in the month of February $80, so that is a total of $280. As for clothing, I did budget $100 this month, and I don't have any children. I don't have any specific cleaning slash laundry stuff that I need to um, invest in in the month of February, so I think I'll be good with that. As for my gas and oil, um, $200 is what I budget for that. As for repairs and tires, I don't have anything for that right now because I don't have anything in the month of February that's currently coming up for that. If I had a regular mortgage or rent or something like that, I would be doing my sinking funds. Um, I did a sinking funds video this year. However, it's not what I'm currently using. There was an overwhelming response that you guys wanted to see a sinking funds video from me. Just basically like how you set it up. I will link that video below if you're interested in watching it but I am very clear in the video that I'm not using a sinking funds just yet. Once I purchase a home, hopefully within this year, um, if not this year, it'll be early next year, 2018, I will definitely be using a sinking funds after that happens. But just because I have so much excess, which is essentially my house fund, I am able to cash flow that in my monthly income, if that makes sense. So I'm not gonna put anything else for that at the moment. So I'm gonna budget in $200 for my transportation. As for my medical, I don't have any upcoming medications, doctor bills, dentist, optometrist, vitamins, nothing. So I really don't have anything in this category that is upcoming that I am aware of in the month of February, unless I get ill. And then this is the last form on the Dave Ramsey budgeting form for the month. And um, I do carry life insurance, but it is an annual cost. And um, like I said, I would put that in my sinking funds. However, I'm not doing that, so I am just going to leave that open. As for my health insurance, that is paid for through my employer, which is already deducted out of my income, so I don't have to budget anything for that. My homeowner and renter policy, as well as my auto insurance, um, that is together, so I'm just gonna write it on the auto line, because why not? So that total is 104.17. And then I don't have any other kind of insurance, so I'm gonna go with 104. 17. And I do carry a renter policy. I know I've had a lot of comments about my renter policy saying you don't need a renter's policy because you live at your parents' home. That is unfortunately not true. I have many friends that are insurance agents and it's a very minimal policy, but it does cover my belongings in case of a fire or flooding or anything that would happen here. It just covers my belongings that are here, so I want to be covered. So that's why I carry a small renter policy while I am living here. As for personal, um, this says childcare slash sitter. I don't have any of that. Toiletries and then cosmetics and hair care. I usually gap that, like put that all together. And what I did for this month is my personal slash household was $60. Um, what that means to me, I'm just gonna like write it on the cosmetics and hair care. Here we go, $60. Um, what that means to me is that like if I need toothpaste or deodorant or dish soap, anything like that that's extra, I don't tend to overspend in that category, so I don't use like a cash envelope system or a clip system. I use the clip system. If you guys wanna see a video on that, I will link it down below for you guys. I feel I'm like linking all of these videos down below for you guys. So anyway, but that is a system that I use that works really well for me, but I only use it in my trigger areas, the areas that I tend to overspend in. So that being said, let's move right along. Education and tuition, I don't have that. Books, supplies, child support, alimony, subscriptions, does 
organization dues, gifts, including Christmas. These would be more like a sinking funds, I feel like. Um, I don't have any gifts that I'm planning on purchasing in the month of February, so I don't need to put anything in for that. Replacement furniture, pocket money, pocket money, so his and hers baby supplies, pet supplies. My pet is actually good. Um, I buy stuff for him about once a quarter. He's only 18 pounds full grown. Actually, he just turned 10. So I typically get the biggest bag of dog food because per ounce, it's actually the best deal. So um, I actually buy it about once a quarter and like I said, he's doing good on it. I actually bought some in December, so I am sitting really, really well on his dog food and treats and supplies and things like that. Um, music technology, miscellaneous, and other, other. I don't really have anything else in this category, so I am going with $60. As for entertainment, I should put in my Netflix, um, and I'll put that in for $10.41. Um, as for vacation, I don't really have a vacation fund at this point. I'm just more focused on saving up for that house like I mentioned earlier. Also something about me, I am debt free. I am currently on baby step 3B, which is saving up for a 20% down payment on a home. So um, I don't have any debt or anything to pay off. Let's total this bad boy up and make sure that I did it right. I may or may not have, I don't know you guys. My take home pay is right here. So two, six, three zero one six which is right here and then i'm gonna have 200 plus 1540.19 plus 135.29 plus 280 plus 100 plus 200 plus 104.17 plus $60 plus $10.41. Oh, I'm missing 10 cents. Hmm. Oh, I see why. <laughs> In my original one, it says 29 right here. So $1,540.29. And right here, I accidentally put in 19. So that's where my 10 cents went. There we go. All right. So plus 10 cents. Ta-da! So this is the idea of having a zero based budget. As you go through the month, especially if you have a partner or someone else in the household that's helping you with your budget, um, the nice thing is, is you can go back in these categories and re-modify it. Say if there was some issue where you actually had to get some childcare for an emergency or something like that happened, you can go back and re-modify this. I'm doing this on paper so you guys can see it a little bit better. Once you take the FPU class, you actually have like a login so you can go in and do a monthly budget on your computer and um, it'll like help it fluctuate and whatever too. So you can kind of figure it out as you go along. So that is it for my first Dave Ramsey monthly cash flow plan budget. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This has been kind of fun to do this on my own and do a different format than what I normally do, but I am going to keep using this because I think it's pretty and I love it. Um, this is just a nice thing to see with all these different categories. Kind of makes you think a little bit more too of what you've got going on in your own personal life, or maybe things that you have coming up like birthdays, you know, vacation, entertainment, saving up for another vehicle, anything like that. So I think this would be really helpful for anybody looking to start a budget. I will leave the Dave Ramsey website down below if you guys are interested in learning about more about FPU, or um, I'm not sure if they have downloadable forms on their website. I'm really not 100% sure on that, but I will leave the link down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. So anyway, that is gonna be it from me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day. I really, really appreciate it. If you love budgeting videos and all things Dave Ramsey, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let's me know that you guys like the budgeting videos and to keep moving forward with them. Also, if it's your first time here or maybe your second or third time here and you're like a total lurker, I'm a total lurker by the way too, feel free to hit the red subscribe button. That means that you just won't miss out on any of my content. I do typically post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This week is a little bit different because I am posting a little bit more irregularly, which means that I'm posting more this week. So that's kind of fun. Sometimes I do that. Actually, last week I actually posted six days in a row. So 
Um, every once in a while, I will do that if I have a whole bunch of content to share with you guys. So I am going to let you guys go for now. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day no matter where you are. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys!